everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. We've got pretty much everything we need, I think. We're going- we can only get two more power, and unfortunately we need three more for the defense, too. Or, we can only get two, but we need three. I think I might have said that backwards. Anywho, if we take one out of engines, we could put this in here. And that's probably worth the 5% difference. So, we're going to try and hit as many as we can, and then head on to the final battle. And see what we can do with tons of bombs and missiles, and then... Actually, no, we're going to switch to the other two weapons. I forgot about that. An ancient device is orbiting within the crystal rings of a nearby gas giant. You can't discern its nature or function. But it seems to have been deactivated for a very long time. Perhaps you can get some scrap from it. Sure. As you start to break it apart, a rock military ship jumps nearby. You think you can come into our sector and just steal whatever you please? Prepare to die, vandals. Two of the small flax and the small ion. Well, this is definitely a board and run. Two of these small flax, though, could get through our shields pretty easily, especially with this ion, so we're going to need to handle their weapon systems as soon as possible. Actually, we have cloaking. Let's see if we can fire before them. Nope, probably not. Cloaking. Don't fire. I think firing uh, causes it to cancel early. I don't care about that one. We're dropping double breaches. One of them hit. Fire! That's at least enough that they can't fully get through us. Well, I guess two could do that and then one could still hit us. Huh. They have been damaged. I need to do more damage to the crew before we go over there, though, I think. One miss, so it doesn't matter. Small bomb. Hmm. We'll drop a breach. Thank you for actually hitting. Now we'll go over. And we'll drop a small bomb over here just to do stuff to them. That's 30 health down. They don't have a med bay, so... Anything we do to them here could be really, really nice. Let's start heading down to the engines and see where we can snag them with a breach. Oh, they have doors. Hmm, they're gonna win this fight. So, I'm gonna get you guys out of here. And then, everything bomb this room. Yes. For reasons of excessive. That's one down. Hell, we could probably go back now and win. But either way, we're gonna heal up first. You will take this suffocation damage and you will like it. Wow, he might actually die. Actually, I think he's going to. You won't be able to patch those in time. Yep, he gave up. He will never be able to have weapons again. So, uh, we're just gonna teleport in here. Hi, did you miss us? Bye. There are no more life signs remaining. You get tons of scrap. You now have everything maxed. You are immediately hailed by a mobile docking platform upon arrival. Welcome to Joe's Fix It Up Shop. Need a tune up? We got you covered. Inquire about their specialty. They offer to upgrade your piloting subsystem in exchange for some scrap. That's seven cheaper. You let their team on board, and after a short time, they finish their work. Oh, I figured they were going to try and do the reactor. I guess once the reactor is full, they don't offer that. That's cool. So we got a discount. Mm. This one also goes there. Let's head up and try and get a little bit more before we visit this last shop. You find a rock ship docked with a damaged Mantis fighter. Before you have a chance to hail them, the ship moves in to attack you, and you register teleport sim teleporter symbols from the disabled ship. They're using Mantis tech to board you. Pegasus, dual shot, 
single. Potentially a problem. You know, I think we're actually going to use that for once. You are already suffocating, and only one person came over. We're going to save this for the missile. Actually... Hmm. Could just use a defense drone. Why don't we go handle this border real quick? We'll have time to build up some bombs over here in the meantime, and that means we can probably use Breach instead. Yay, zero. Well, that broke most of their soul. They died, now we go back over here. And we can close all the doors now. That'll close in a minute. Hmm, should we small bomb them again? Well, we got swarm up. Shoot right here and see what happens. Oh, we did something. So we teleport over. And then now that there's three in the room, we... Oh, right. I might have miscalculated. I keep forgetting they have doors. Let's uh, do something about that, shall we? And they have a med bay. Hmm, I didn't closely examine them enough. But now that those are broken... We are again back to our sh normal shenanigans. Yeah, no. I'm getting them off of here for now. Them dying would be very bad because they're already gold. I can't afford to lose these people, you're crazy. So we will sit out in the med bay. This is one of the cool things about the med bays is uh, there's only two people that can fit in there. So we will stay in there. I realize the weapons room can't have more people in there, which causes those problems. Dead. And it has now had all of the oxygen removed from it. Hmm. Wow, you guys are dying something fierce. Yeah. Oh, you don't actually care about fire, do you? Oh well, let's head back over here. Ships have so much health now that I can just pickle them with these, well, with the swarms and it's not a problem. Still have 14 missiles. That thing works really well. We're going to teleport in here. And then we're going to finish it. Bye-bye. 46 scrap. No more life signs remaining. I don't think that counts the uh, scrap repair arm we have, though. So we are basically back up to 100 now. Should we bother jumping to a store? We're gonna get a lots more supplies when we go in there, and we already have our final weapons. Even if I did get another defense drone, we wouldn't have the power to use it, because we already don't have the power to use all the stuff we have currently. Hmm. I don't even really know what to upgrade. I mean, upgrading this stuff could be circumstantial, but... Do we really need it? Having another point on this sometimes would be nice. I don't think we'll need more than 10 seconds, honestly. If we used it properly, we probably wouldn't need more than 5. Eh, I guess we can see what we have, since we can just jump away anyway. With a local rock settlement so unwilling to trade with other life forms, an opportunistic mantis crew has postponed its piracy activities and set up a shop to catch any passing trade. Pegasus is cool. Repair Burst is cool. It only requires... Oh, wait, no. I thought that was Healing Burst for some reason. This is still neat, though. Backup DNA bank. Hacking stun. That's really useful, too. Can't use that, can't use that. I would love this, but uh, we're in the last sector, so it's a little too late for that. Defense 2 we already have, and I won't be able to get three more points in this. Anti-ship fire drone. Combat drone that repeatedly attacks with a small beam weapon that lights rooms on fire. That's nasty. Anti-drone. We might actually be able to use that. 
I would only need to put one more point of power in this, and I think we could do that. Oh, wait, where are we going to get the power to use this, though? I would have to turn something else off. That's the problems we're getting into, having to put aid into this and still have teleporting functionality. This could be quite useful second time around, though. What do we have in here? I'll grab it as a just-in-case. It's only 35. And we've already got most everything else we want anyway. You come across an asteroid mining colony. They message you immediately, saying greetings. Our supplies of, of mining explosives have run out ever since the rebel blockaded the system. Do you have any extra explosives? They always turn us down. Well, I appreciate your enthusiasm. We have certain protocols. I can't give you missiles. Sorry. We can make at least one more jump, however. A rock ship is silhouetted against a sun and a supernova. They hail. Even out here you follow us. We only wish to be left alone. Out of panic or anger, they charge their weapons. They have a clone bay. No door system. Clone? Like, the healing thing in the door is what I need to look at. I, I, I got so used to enemies not having door systems that I was like, What? They can't go through? Alright, so you have a Pegasus missile. Or a hall breach, whatever. If I see something like this, I just say it's a Pegasus. The single can't penetrate any shields laser and the single shot. So basically, no worry from these and all from the missile. So I think we're going to put this in the defense drone. Two. Alright, and once these are up, we are going to breach them. But where? Wow, your cockpit is the one with all that space? Oh, that's convenient. Missing isn't. Well, with that, I'm going to shoot these here. And I think we're good to teleport over once they move back into here. Mm, should probably bomb it one more time. Each of them. Let's launch one more round off. We're right, like, this is the last jump before we go there, so. Let's get them both again real quick. Oh my god. Oh, that was some convenient fire placing. Oh no. You guys, you actually have to put that out. I forgot Martin would have to leave here. That's the problem with the backside of this ship, because it has to go through the engine room. Our weapons are burning. I kind of need those a little bit. Well, it's breach. That should slow that down. These weapons aren't a threat, honestly, as long as they don't repair that. All we need to do is take this out. Will you stop missing, please? Great, it's completely annihilated. Teleport over. He's trying to fix that. Those weapons aren't a threat to us. We can close those. Oh, I was looking for the go back to your room button. Solar Flare is imminent again. Did not get to fix their threatening weapon, though. Fire bed. We will kill them before it matters, though. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials. Where'd our fire go? Wait, did it only pop up over here? Can that happen? Oh no, I thought I saw a poof right there. They probably put that out right now. So, we need to jump, because we can't buy anything else. Or, do anything else on the ship here. Too dangerous. We get to the exit. You've arrived at Long Range Beacon. There's a black market hub here. You receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military-grade explosives, we'll, gl we'll gladly pay you for them. I need my explosives, thank you very much. And we'll pump that. Just so that the oxygen can get back all throughout the ship. Everybody should be healed up. Other than these two. Four reasons of fire. So let's get you quickly healed up, bro. 
fast and go back. You're done there now. Take that out, take that out. And we're good to go. The last stand. You arrive in an outpost close to the Federation base. You have access codes. They doubt you. They fix you. You go on an epic journey. Uh, one more point here. Just in case, so that I could have the anti-drone too if we need that. Or that's more important. Like, if they hit our weapons at all, and I the four power comes out, I could put it over here, you know? Or something. Just so that we always have something to use our power on, should something bad happen. Could upgrade our sensors again. I'm tempted to upgrade these things, but they cost more power. These things are free 99. It is unfortunate. These are gonna die super fast. We're not gonna be able to get to this one then. We're just gonna rush straight over there. Try and get those two. And see what happens. Long range scanners show this system is empty of any capital ships. Clearly, it is not of strategic value. Wait, FTL signatures show a rebel scout. Wow, talk about armed to the teeth. Two drones. A dual shot laser, teleporting bombs, two missiles. Well, yeah, we need to do something about this. And I need this anti drone up. No reason to have power in that. There's no reason for me to put power anywhere else either. I guess we could put it into this. Yeah, they just took power out of that, so we'll only have one other one. We'll put this in here for now. Where are you teleporting a bomb onto me? Oh, it was us doing the teleporting. And it missed. As long as that's good, then these things will be more than fine to handle that. We can start just... Hmm. Actually, the swarm is our only source of damage. I didn't think about that. For things that we can't board? Wow, you all missed. Let's use a small bomb on this. Wow, that actually has fully upgraded stuff. Alright, well it's broken and there's a breach, so they shouldn't be able to dodge anything ever again. This is going to take a lot of missiles though. Have we really not run into one of these before? I can't believe this is a problem. Fire there since they can't dodge? With the replicator, we should be fine, but. Aha! Charging it up. They don't have a laser weapon, so there's no real reason to hit the shields. That wasn't even enough to take out their drones. Is he gonna blow up? No, I'm just stunned. Oh, the other one's actually right there. I don't know that it actually blew up. Oh, your weapons are fixed. We fixed that. Thankfully, this is breached. Them not being able to dodge is going to do wonderful things for us. Yay, there we go. And they switched power over to that one. There's another three. One more round of that. This is Breach, so they don't have drones anymore. And not just because we blew most of them up. Replicator, please don't fail me now. We only actually need to shoot two. Yay! The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap materials. And two more missiles! Oh, good, it has to jump there first. We might actually have time to get there. Because it's going to wait a turn. If we can jump from there to there, we might be able to get to here, and then we'll cut it off. 162 scrap. Is there nothing we can do with that? Triple boarding, I guess? See their weapon power? 
I really don't think we need 15. With Without the, the augment that gives us the ability to fire while this is up, we really don't need that. Drone control doesn't need any more. Super autopilot. Probably more useful than doors. Because if they board us, we can actually, you know, respond to that. You arrive in the middle of a raging battle. Both sides are taking heavy losses. A small squadron uh, flies past and a fighter breaks off, moving toward your position. Two flax, the two shot, or the single shot, and a beam. Four crew members. No one else to really stop us on the inside, though. So, it looks like we're actually going to get in there. And those fire, we phase out. This lets us charge up all of our other weapons. We drop the triple in here. We drop the double in here. And we get ready to... Yeah, I figured one of them was going to miss. Two... Shoot the med bay. It is completely broken. So now, we're going to set up camp in here. And they are already damaged. Or at least, Nick me is. All we have to do is watch their health now. Because they don't have a med bay, and they're going to want someone manning this stuff. These were fixed at different times, so they won't fire at the same time. Which means we should be pretty good on this. I'm going to have you run away, just in case. Ah, why did you stop to fight the repair drone? There isn't time to salvage the enemy ship, but your crew made off with a few nearby materials. Prepare to jump. I mean, that's more than we usually get. Teleport back. Oh, we actually got hit by stuff. Oh, well, it makes sense with the weapons that they had. Probably sank through when I was over here doing stuff. If all three hit, they could do some serious stuff. I could upgrade for quad shields, situationally. Maybe we should have done that instead. I mean, we don't have the power for that, but it would be an option. So we'll just quickly fix this stuff up. And then... It'll be 180. Well, if nothing else, this gives us leeway. If we Even if we bought these two points, we could take two points of damage and not lose any of our shields. So that's something. Up to repair station. There's a mobile ship construction platform stationed at this beacon. You got 48. We jump here. And you don't get... Dang it, I should have... Mm. Yeah, this needs to turn on, like, yesterday. Oh, it missed. We're gonna run. I'm gonna switch our weapons out. And we'll probably start up there next time. That wouldn't be enough for a full episode, though. Mm -hmm. We might have to split it. Or else have a very long this episode. I'm gonna cloak. I desperately wanted that extra thing, but we're just gonna hop back to the base. I should have paid more attention, I tunnel visioned on it. We're going to come over here and switch our equipment out. The Vulcan and the Breach 2 will be over here just in case. Except you're going to any person will come over here. I was planning on doing a suicide run after this with this, just to unlock Mantis B and run with that next. Hmm. The episode didn't end where I was expecting. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I can just record twice and then cut them together or something. So, oh, we could do the Kuros. There was a vote for the Kruos, but there was also a vote for people... I heard people wanted to see Mantis B. I'm gonna... We'll, we'll finish this next episode, then I'll... Depending upon how long it is, I might cut in the start of the next run. 
So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.